What's good guys? In this video, we're going to show you how to stop tight. We're going to show you my favorite tight defense, uh, which is a match coverage. We're going to show you how match coverage works against tight. And to do this, we're going to start by teaching you how match coverage works against bunch. And then we're going to carry it over to tight because they're very similar. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free to subscribe, let you know when we post new videos. We post videos every day trying to help people become better Madden players. Also, if you want to get my full match coverage defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. Gets you access to all of the ebooks. We got 13 offensive and defensive ebooks in Madden 23, and match coverage is one of those 13. So if you want to get access to that, we also, um, by being a member, you get access to all the updates to that as well, which is really helpful. Um, so whenever we change, as we learn new things, um, as the defense continues to change and evolve, then you'll get access to all of those updates. So let's talk about match coverage and how to run this against uh, tight. Uh, first things first, how does match coverage work against bunch? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, whether it be quarters or six, they're the same against bunch, okay? So I'm going to put quarters in the audibles, but we're going to be basing out of six. And essentially, the a match coverage defense, whether specifically with cover six, cover four quarters, is a split field coverage. What does that mean, split field coverage? It means that the coverage um, is essentially split in half, um, typically based out of two, two high safety. So the defense from the three rec hook is kind of like the divider, but essentially the coverage is going to work one way over here and it's going to work another way over here. Okay. That's the basic kind of idea. So in bunch, you have what's known as a box check. And typically what's going to happen with match is it's going to play box. Um, it's going to play box check against any kind of compressed set. So whether it's bunch, bunch tied in, tight slots, tight, tight offset, um, normal Y off close, right? These are all compression sets. And essentially to the compression piece or the compression side, you're going to get a box check. So in bunch here, we're going to essentially formulate these four players, right? All these four guys, they are in a specific coverage. These guys are playing three over two. So you have four over three on one side, three over two on the other side. What does a box check mean? Essentially, they're going to create a box. This guy's going to take the first up and out. This guy's taking up and inside. This guy's taking down and inside. And this guy's taking first to the flat. So essentially, if they run a flood concept to the right, you're going to see here that these quarters will switch off one another, essentially. And the outside quarter will take the corner route because it's the outside and it's going to the outside corner of the box. The uh, inside quarter will take the, the vertical and then the quarter flat will take the flat. So you'll see here, it's exactly how the play uh, or it does. And it's really good for stopping corner routes. Now, if you know anything about Madden 23, you know that the corner route is probably the best route in the game for beating man. And it's one of the reasons why people like to run gun tight. Now, I want to go to quarters real quick. You'll see everything is the same. The only difference is in how it relates to the left side, which I'll talk about that in a minute. But what you'll see here, everything to the right side is exactly the same. Okay, so let's talk about the left side. And in, in quarters, you have what is known as solo check to the back side of the formation. So what does that mean? What is a solo check? A solo check essentially means they're going to man lock the back side of the formation. So Dean is going to be in man coverage, Meg coverage on the solo receiver. Neil is going to be in Meg coverage on the running back. What this is designed to do is allow this player to have some freedom. If there's a deep crossing route coming from the bunch side over here to the solo side, he's going to help with that. If number one runs a vertical route and then cuts to the post, then he's going to handle that as well. So you see in bunch trail, he's going to look over here. There's no action, but he's going to go help that post on the left side. That's essentially how it works. Now cover six is a little different. Cover six is different primarily because of the, the principles over here. Essentially, if the running back um, if there's, if there, if the running back does not shoot out to the flat, then this soft squad on the outside is responsible for essentially matching the number one. This guy is looking for anything vertical. Okay. He's going to handle a skinny post. He's going to handle a fade. He's going to handle all those things. 
this guy, and they're basically essentially trapping the flat with these two players in cover six against Bunch. Um, and you'll see how this plays out. So, like, if I don't run a flat route, vertical hook's just going to be dropping in spot, and then you've got this match on the post. If I run a wheel, um, if, I, if I take the back, and let's say I put the back on a wheel, you know, then what you'll see is something like this, where that soft squat will basically handle the wheel route. Okay, so that's the basic overview of how this works. You want more information? I've done more videos about this against bunch, but that's kind of the framework for what we're going to work into with tight. So, what is tight, and how does the defense play specifically against tight? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Let's jump into this, and I'm going to come out and drive corner. So, I'm in Washington. I think Washington has the best combination of bunch, tight, and everything in between. So what you're going to see with this is we're going to get a box check to the running back side. Essentially, if I could summarize my point that I want to make in the video, to the running back side, it's going to defend it like bunch. The running back is going to basically be defended as if he was a tight end. Okay? This, unfortunately, this player here is going to be defended as if he was a running back. And he has the best routes in the formation. This is why you could go to quarters and get absolutely roasted with this false step that's going to happen almost every time with this corner route. That's why you don't want to run quarters against tight if you don't know what you're doing. Okay? So what's the best formula for stopping tight if you're going to be in bunch? Well, basically this. The right side of the formation, we have a really good chance at playing well. Okay, um, the left side of the formation is going to take a little bit more work. Now I'm going to grab cover six because I want to go over cover six as well. So what you'll see with cover six is how would we want to play this? Well, if you take a look at my play art, it has cover six to the right side. Well, that means that the box check is not going to work and not going to be active to the right side. So if I want to run a corner route like this and then on the left side, you're going to see here both corners are going to be open and I'm going to be in trouble. Okay, as you saw right there, the tight end was running wide open. Because our box check is only active to the side the running back's on. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that if we're in a situation like this, we just want to simply flip our play. So you see here, I flip my play. Now what's going to happen is that same route combo that I ran is going to be bagged this time because the box check is active, okay? Which then leads me to my next point over here on the number on this other side. We're going to play a, a trap coverage, if you will, on this player. This player is kind of a, a bot, if you will. He, like, messes everything up in quarters um, for whatever reason. But if you think about the routes he's going to be running, oftentimes he's either going to be running a flat route or a streak. So what we're going to be able to do here is we're just going to leverage the power user the three rec. But what you'll see is a soft squat will carry him if he goes on a vertical. But if he goes to the flat, the soft squat's going to go over there and cover it, right? Typically. Um, if he doesn't, put him in a hard flat, right? Um, but anyway, he, he has potential to be able to significantly help us over there on that side. Another thing we could do is we could man lock that player. And we could do something like this. This is not a bad adjustment whatsoever, okay? And then what you'll see with this deep half is this deep half is now going to match properly onto that deep corner. Okay? So that's the easiest way to stop tight is to use cover six, and you want the cover two side to be on the side opposite of the running back. Now what you'll see is if I run a streak to clear this out, we're going to get a cover six check. Essentially what that means is the vertical hook, because there's nothing underneath, he is going to go guard the um the deep the deep route from the number two receiver so you see here he's going to match onto that and you see that he's going to be able to go out and, uh, and have a shot if you got a good player there that could be a potential bag now i think that it actually makes a lot of sense to go to um to go to cover six here and to put this outside guy on a cloud and the reason why i like cloud flats you're going to get a jam he's going to get out there and then again you have that right there Okay, you don't have to do that, but you can do that if you want to. Another thing you could do is, let's say you want to get more aggressive, just shade underneath. What you'll see with a shade underneath, however, is if they streak this left side guy, the vert hook doesn't have a match principle, and now that is wide open. Now, 
it's not a big deal because what you can do as a user, because we shaded that vertical hook down and we have hard flats, what you can do as a user is you can go help. So like if they run that concept, you can just say, oh, I see the two verticals, I'm gonna go help. And now you have plenty of help in the middle of the field. So those are some different strategies for stopping compression sets. Um, really the bottom line is, what you wanna understand is you don't wanna be running quarters to the left side because there's no box check to that side opposite the running back. It's better to have a, a trap coverage, if you will, like a cover six. Heck, it's better to even just simply do something like this. We're gonna put an outside third to that outside player, and then we're gonna put a hard flat to the linebacker and drop a bluff blitz. This is a simple adjustment, but it's actually really effective because if they run this two vertical system, you can go help that and that third. The, as you can see though, when they put that streak out there, the vertical hook is the only zone in the game that's going to match that player. The vertical hook out of a cover six, you can't shade, you can't, um, you know, you can't change things up. But what this, what, what will happen here is if they run that vertical to run off that D path, now you'll see here we'll get this match and we have a shot. Now my guy at safety is really slow, okay? Um, but what I would encourage you to also consider, that corner doesn't beat man very well. So a simple adjustment, just take the linebacker and man him up on that player, boom. And now if they run something like that, now you've got him manned up a little bit better and now he's gonna actually react a little bit better to the ball. So those are some strategies in terms of how you can handle compression sets. If you really wanna run quarters, my recommendation is on, the, on this left side to put an outside third to that player out there and then to go ahead and you've gotta be really careful, but if they run that where they're gonna have that runoff to run off any deep zones, you might need to get out there and help because if you're not careful, that could be a bomb, okay? So you gotta kinda understand what they're gonna hit you with. As far as the rest of the formation, if you take a look at bench, it's the same basic problem. The corner out's coming from the number two receiver, and so it's gonna put our defense in a little bit of a vulnerable position. So when we see something like this, we need to get out here and help on that and also allow that deep half to be able to work, okay? So those are just some simple things that you need to be aware of when you're defending compression. As far as for uh, concepts like slot post, this is gonna be fine because you're gonna have everything covered, your job, lurk here, get back to the post. You see it's a pretty solid tech. So the main thing you need to be able to stop is a corner route to that number two receiver opposite of the running back. The way you do that is you play cover four to the, um, to the running back side and you run this cover six to the back side and then from there you can kind of adjust as you want to you could man up that solo receiver you could there's a lot of different variations of this that we could do you know we could man up the number two receiver and we could man up the solo receiver and just play meg coverage on the back side with a curl flat there's nothing wrong with something like that as well um you could do an, uh, one of my favorite adjustments is to outside third and then man up like that what this is going to cause is if they try to run these deeper corner routes, they're not um, they're not good enough man beaters, and so your man coverage should be able to easily pick it off. So, anyways, those are some tips and tricks and how you want to be using cover six uh, to be able to lock down these compression sets. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope this was helpful. If it was, and you want to learn more about match defense, we've known about this uh, since the very first day the game was out. Make sure you're in the Patreon. Our Patreon members get access to everything hot off the press. As soon as we have it, we update the Patreon every week with new material. They get access to all ebooks, all updates as well. I think it's a great deal. Ten bucks gets you everything. If you want to sign up for it, head down to the description below and join the Patreon today.